For the last decade, farmers in the country have largely depended on rain-fed agriculture. Due to this, Kenyan farmers have had to endure adverse effects of climate change, like massive floods that destroy crops and extremely hot conditions that kill livestock. To cushion farmers against such catastrophic conditions and to ensure the country is food secure, the government decided to go the irrigation way. Land under irrigation in the country currently stands at 300,000 acres. The Ministry of Agriculture has embarked on an ambitious program that will ensure the land under irrigation goes up. In Kenya we are still below a million so we could do much more if we continue focusing on investments but also mechanized irrigation for higher yield crops uh, where possible. Uh, the projects such as the one in Galana will push irrigation acreage um, by at least uh, two to three hundred uh, thousand uh, acres. Speaking after touring various small-scale irrigation projects in Ehindu Naivasha, Irrigation Principal Secretary Ndwati Mwangi says the upcoming irrigation project will go a long way in helping the government meet its target of putting one million acres of land under irrigation by 2017. We have to be focused. We always tend to lose focus once we engage in large projects. Uh, because people have uh, doubts, people are concerned about uh, the way they are being implemented. But if we can focus and continuously invest in these projects as a country, we will get there. He says the government is borrowing a leaf from countries such as Egypt and Sudan to address issues of food security through mechanized irrigation. To other countries uh, which have intensified investments in irrigation, we could do much better. We have uh, Egypt, which started many thousands of years ago during the days of the pharaohs. We have the Sudan, uh, where they've invested heavily in irrigation. And their acreage is in millions of acres. Nduati noted that there were over 200 expanded irrigation schemes in the country that are targeting low-income earners. Farmers in Ihindu, led by Paul Ndongo, have lauded the government, noting that such irrigation schemes help them address the perennial issue of water shortage. Maisha ilikuwa gumu kwa mana maji ilikuwa inapatikana kwa mashimo ambayo watu wanachiba kwa maboma zao. Na hiyo maji ilikuwa inaendelea kudry. File jua ilikuwa inawaka. Maji ilikuwa inaendelea kuwa kidogo. Kwa ngombe tulikuwa na hakuna ngombe i, kwa bana maji ilikuwa hakuna wakati wa wakira gazi. Kwa hivyo e, muradi utumefaidika na ya sana. E, ile siku ile muradi hii imekuja tukafaidika sana na tukafurahi sana kwa sababu tabu yote imekwisha.